Hello, it's Tommy. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a few weeks. I've been working a lot and honestly I've just been exhausted, but I'm going to try to get myself back into the swing of things and uh, doing videos a lot more often. Um, today I want to show you some verses in the King James that talk about charity. So this is my King James. Uh, this first verse is 1 Corinthians 8 1 now as touching things offered unto idols we know that we all have knowledge knowledge puffeth up but charity edifieth all right this next one is first corinthians chapter 13 um, i won't read the whole chapter i'll just the ones that say charity uh, verse 1 Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up. See down in uh, verse 8. Charity never faileth. And verse 13. And now abideth faith, hope, and faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Okay, flip the page, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 1. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. Let's jump over to 16, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Let all your things be done with charity. Right now we're in Colossians chapter 3 verse 14 and above all these things put on charity which is the bond of perfectness 1 Thessalonians 3 6 but now when Timotheus came from you unto us and brought us good tidings of your faith and charity and that ye have good remembrance of us always, desiring greatly to see us, as we also to see you. Lots of charities going on. Second Thessalonians 1, 3. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. And 1 Timothy 1, 5. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of good conscience and of faith unfeigned. And then uh, 1 Timothy 2, 15. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. So there's a lot of charities going on. Now let me show you the same verses in the New King James. 1 Corinthians 8.1 but concerning things offered to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains but have not love, 
I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up. Verse 8, love never fails. And over to verse 13, And now abide faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. All right, 1 Corinthians 14, 1. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that ye may prophesy. Pursue love. All right, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Let all that ye let all that you do be done with love. Colossians three fourteen. But above all these things put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And first Thessalonians three six. But now that Timothy has come to us from you and brought us good news of your faith and love, and that you always have good remembrance of us, greatly desiring to see us, as we also to see you. Second Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1.3 We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your love, I'm sorry, because your faith grows exceedingly, and the love of every one of you abounds toward each other. 1 Timothy 1, 5. Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith. And then 1 Timothy 2, 15. Nevertheless, she will be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and holiness with self-control. Okay. Now, in the interlinear, I'll just show you um, 1 Corinthians 13, that it's all love. There is nothing about charity. The greatest of these is love. And something else I found interesting, this was back in the King James, um, 1 Corinthians 13, where charity is all over the place in this chapter, the heading of the chapter says, do everything with love. But yet the word love is nowhere to be found in here. So... What do you remember your King James saying? Do you remember charity or do you remember love? For me, the new King James <clears throat> rings truer to my memory. Especially with the love chapter. It's, it's always been love and it'll, it'll always be love for me. Love, love, love. More importantly, guys, though, we need to keep our hearts focused on Jesus, and we, meet, we need to be displaying Jesus in everything that we do and say. It's all about Jesus, and we, we need to remember that. But I'd like to know what, what you guys remember. Do you remember charity, or do you remember love? All right. Thanks for watching. Till next time.